So here's my Motoguchi Norge 07 air box. It only has really two bolts holding it in up here in the front underneath uh, the breather box. You can remove it without accessing the air cleaner, but I like to pull this and get that stuff out of there so I can reach my hands back in there and it seems to help me on reassembly. I think it's maybe the hard way, but that's how I do it. So you've gotten your uh, fuel tank out of the way, which is uh, pretty easy. Um, I, I saw on YouTube videos a new trick where you pull the power that goes to the tank, which is to kill the fuel pump, which is inside the tank. Then uh, crank the motor and uh, relieve the pressure in that line. Might make getting the worst, most difficult connector I have ever encountered part. I have revisited this silly um, connector three times by hand and was never able to get it apart. Um, found the tool, uh, ordered a three pack of these special hose tools and uh, wasn't able to film it well, but it actually does help me now remove that. Five, six volts get the top of the air cleaner box off and there's your air cleaner then this breather box will swivel forward and get out of the way so you can get those two small nuts that actually hold the air box in the hose clamps which can be terribly difficult I I've just surrendered on these guys um, I, I unscrew the hose clamps all the way until there's just a couple of threads showing I don't try to just do it a little bit to save myself some uh, cranking later. Um, I'm using one hand to hold it so it can't slip out of my reach because there's only like one spot that you can get to the nuts on each of the hose clamps. So you got to make sure it's rotated exactly in your favor. Silicone spray uh, is always good. A nice hot summer day is even better because you're dealing with some rubber there that you want it to squeeze and deform and squeeze between the frame rails while dropping off those uh, clamps, the hose clamps, so they don't get all bent and deformed. And uh, the hose clamps just drop harmlessly uh, down there on top of the motor where you can just grab them. Two vents on the bottom. Uh, one of mine uh, kind of popped up, and airbox is out. Okay, now the airbox goes back in, and bang, it's in.